Hey everyone, Seth here. So I'm, I'll be going over a beginner's guide on how to properly use Git to version control your game project. Um, I've been in multiple game jams now, and uh, as oftentimes I see beginner game developers using Git in a really unsafe way. So I'm just gonna go over um, a semi-industry standard way on how to version control correctly with Git. Um, so I already have my repository, uh, GitHub desktop, tracking my the repository that I'm working with here. Let's see, list it here. And you can see here that I have two branches to start up with, a main branch and a dev branch, okay? Now, the purpose of having these two different branches are as follows. The main branch is meant to track your latest stable game project. And the dev branch is meant to track your latest working game project with the, all the new features that you want to add onto your game, your, your new stable build, okay? So if main is currently at containing the game project 0 0.1, then dev is containing the 0 0.1 project plus a bunch of brand new features that you want to um, add to your game. And the idea here is that once your game project on the dev branch is at a state that you're happy with, and it's stable, then you go ahead and push the changes onto the main branch to update your stable game project to the new version, okay? Okay, so those are the two uh, branches that you start out with, okay? You don't wanna be developing directly on these two branches. If you have a brand new feature that you wanna work on, whether you're putting in new assets, putting in a new script, doing a bug fix or whatever, anything that's brand new, um, that needs to be added to the game should be worked on on a feature branch. And that's done by making sure that you're starting on dev and you just create a new branch. Make sure that you're uh, basing it off of dev, not main, and then you give it a name for your new feature branch. So in this case, I'm gonna go ahead and call it my test feature, like that. And I'm gonna go ahead and create the branch. So now my test feature sits locally on my computer and it's based off of the latest dev. And I can go ahead and go to my game project and work on whatever I need to work on. So if I come in here, let's say that I'm gonna go ahead and add a, a new feature script here. We'll call it my test feature. And then I spend time like building the code up, doing all that sort of testing I need. And once my new feature for the game is working on this branch, I can go here and I can see all the changes that I've made. I'm gonna go here and I'm gonna give it a descriptive title, my test feature, and a description of what I did on this feature branch. And so I'll say uh, test feature to demo version control. I'm gonna commit. And now all the work that I've done on this test feature is now staged and committed onto my test feature branch, okay? But you can see here, if we or if we go to the, um, the remote repo, let's go ahead and refresh it. The remote repo does not have your my test feature branch here, right? Which means that in your it's a, it's, this is only sitting on our local, we have to actually push the branch to the remote repo. So we'll go here and we'll push it. So this should update the remote repo to now contain your test feature branch. So if you go here, refresh it, there you go. You can see now it's sitting on the remote repo and you see a little pop-up here that says compare and pull request. Now this is how we want to actually merge things onto dev and main pull requests. All a pull request means is that you're making a request to merge your changes onto another branch. That's all it is. It's a safe way to merge your changes onto another branch. Now to do open a pull request, you can either do it via the GitHub desktop here, or you can do it directly on the web. And we'll, we'll kind of do it both ways here and you'll see. So let's do it via the desktop, for the GitHub desktop app first. We'll do a preview pull request and so you'll see here, open a pull request. Um, you wanna merge the stuff from your test branch onto dev, right? Origin dev. Okay, you don't wanna merge it to main, you wanna merge it to dev. Okay, so that 
that looks good. These are all the list of the changes that you want to merge from your feature branch onto your dev branch. I'm going to go ahead and open create a pull request. And this will automatically open a window on your browser that takes you to the pull request you're wanting to change. So check that you're pushing the changes up to the right branch. Yes, my test feature branch, pushing it to dev, not main, because main contains our latest working pro stable project. We don't want to break that, okay? So this pull request is ready to go. If you want to have someone uh, review your changes, you can go right here and set their names for and set them like that. And if you do that, they'll receive a notification via email to um, go and review the changes that you just made. If you're confident that your changes won't break anything, or if you're a solo dev, you don't need to, you don't really need that. You can just go ahead and do create pull request. Okay, so when you do a pull request and you're led to this page here where it's now your pull request has been created and it's ready to be merged. If, if this, this, says, this branch has no conflicts with the base branch, that means that everything that you've made on your test for each branch is not conflicting with any changes that are currently sitting on dev. So if you have multiple people working on a team, if they're working on some stuff on dev, if they happen to be working on the same item that you were working on, it might lead to some conflicts, right? But this has shows us that there's no conflict between the files you modified here and the files that are currently sitting on dev. So you're safe to go ahead and merge this pull request. Confirm merge. And there you go. Now your pull request has been successfully merged. That just means that your changes on your test branch is now sitting on dev branch. So if we go to dev branch, let's go to dev branch here. Assets, scripts, there you go. You see your new feature is now sitting on the dev branch. And now if we look at main, right? Main does not have your the script there because main has not been updated, okay? Because main is your latest working stable game project. Whereas dev contains all your latest working game project plus a bunch of other feature new features that you want to add to your stable game project, okay? Um, so once you have a bunch, you know, you have all your features in, you're ready, for the next version of your game, then you can go ahead and do a pull request here and just basically merge all the changes from dev to main, okay? Now I'm not gonna do this right now because this is just a test feature and I don't wanna ruin this current stable game project. This is just to demonstrate what that once you're ready to go to upgrade your stable game project to the next version, you do a pull request to merge everything in dev onto main. If you click away, um, then it doesn't do anything with your pull request. Now, the nice thing about pull request is that if if you just pushed your test stuff on the te the stuff on your test branch feature branch onto dev and it breaks dev for some reason, you can come here to the your list of pull requests and undo the pull request that you just did. In our case, it's my test feature, right? I go here. And I, this is the stuff that I pushed from my feature branch onto dev. It broke something in dev. I want to go ahead and revert it. I can do this right here, revert. If I revert it, it's going to go open another pull request that says, hey, uh, you're going to undo, this is a request to undo the changes that you just made to dev, right? Um, and this is what I want. So I'm going to go ahead and create this pull request. It's going to undo it, okay? So the merge request, nothing's going to conflict. I'm going to go ahead and merge the pull request. And now the changes I made onto dev have been reverted. If I go to back to the repo, check the dev branch. And look, there you go. Our feature is no longer sitting in dev. The script is no longer in here because it's been reverted. And that's how you safely version control. Um, you have you start out with these two branches, main and dev. And de the purpose of dev is to track your latest stable game project. The purpose of dev is to track your latest working game project plus all the brand new features you want to, to add to upgrade your game project. And then you create um, whatever changes you want to make, bug fixes, uh, assets, new scripts. You do all of that on a test 
on a feature branch that is based off of dev. Okay, so that is just a quick crash course on how to safely version control with Git. Okay, there's def there's um, definitely a lot more uh, things like you know that I can go into, but that can be for later videos as um, people request them. But that's it. So hope this helps you with your um, game dev journey or your game jams. And uh, yeah, I'll see you next time.